right, Seattle, we are back. And it's time for us to continue our year three simulation with your Seattle Stallions. And we've had a very good start. 15, 6, and 3 with our plus 5 chemistry, baby. Uh, and in this video, we targeted our defensemen. We've uh, already put in our scouts. We've watch listed them. I'm hoping that we can get something similar on the blue line that we have up front. We already have one pairing. It's a little bit weak, but uh, me and the Twitch fans, the Twitch scouts right now, have targeted four defensemen, two offensive defensemen, and two defensive defensemen that we can bring into this team to help us out right now, um, while at the same time, not hurting our future with guys like Reyes or Malkin. We know these guys are our future, and when they're ready to go, I can move on from guys like Heed, Haycheck, one of the new guys that may come in, depending on who's the best. It's, a good, it's one, one of those good problems to have, right? But I'm I'm ready to pull the trigger on some big time trades and that's what we're going to start the video in we're not going to do any gameplay maybe until the end of the year i'm not going to wait until the trade deadline this is the time for us to pull the trigger it's been a long time coming i said that after year one we had to reset our whole strategy because we drafted lafreniere so year two is like year one which means year three is like year two and i'm on the brink of putting the perfect team together i know exactly what i'm doing all right so let us take a look at the trades that, that we want to go after. What is it? Player search or is it trade? It's player search. Yeah. Player search. We're going to also go after some forwards eventually. But the watch listed players that we have targeted. Here you go. Nothing but offensive defensemen and defensive defensemen. Fox, Gerard, D'Angelo, Zadorov, Bean, Carlo, Merrill, Dumlin, and Hobbs. Now, there were other real good players, but I don't want to take a chance on someone whose trade value is way up there. Because if the scouts are wrong, that would really suck. All of these guys, their trade value, it's acceptable. Uh, their age... The oldest guy that I'm targeting is going to be Zadorov at 26, and uh, the contracts are not that bad, especially if I get them to grow. Right now, a guy at 83 at 4.9, maybe even 5, may, may not sound great, but with their top 4 potential and their age, if their chemistry works and I get them going at plus 5 on the first line, first line power play, they'll grow to 85, 86, 87, then those contracts become very attainable. So the first thing we are targeting are two players from the same team, Samuel Gerard and Nikita Zadorov. Now, in this universe, right, the Colorado Avalanche have just won the Stanley Cup. A lot of people asking, well, why the hell would they end up trading away these players? Look at the record, even. 16, 6, and 5. Well, I always like to make the trades a little bit realistic here. So we went into the Colorado Avalanche, and there's a few things that should be pointed out. So we're going to sort by the best players on their team, right? Nathan McKinnon, the franchise, in two years... They got to pay him like 12 or 13 million. All right. How are they going to get that cap space? They've already got Ranton and signed. They got Tory Krug in free agency. Landeskog at six more years at 9.2. Kale McCarr along with Tory Krug, their two best defensemen. Uh, uh, Bowen Byram, another defenseman with medium elites, 20 years of age, 85 overall. He's going to need a contract in two years. They're a team that is already stacked. And if you look at their defensemen, yes, I'm taking two of their defensemen, but it's their fourth and fifth best guys. They have Krug, McCarr, Byram, Timmins, Johnson, and Graves still. It's still a very top-heavy team with a very good blue line. And what I will be doing is freeing up a lot of cap space. All right, $5 million, 4.1. That's going to be $9 million of cap space they're going to free up. They're going to get what they want, and uh, it's not going to slow them down whatsoever. Now, the problem here is Nikita Zadorov is injured. Now, let's take a look at his injury. What the hell was that injury? Hmm... Okay, whoa, 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 I'm in the wrong screen. Hang on a second, boys. Let me back out. Let me back out. Wouldn't they trade, wouldn't they wait a year to trade those guys? Uh, perhaps, but if a good, if a good, like the thing about, you got to look at Byram as a guy who's just, who's, who's, he probably got a huge jump this offseason, right? So in the first 20 games, you know, the coaching staff is like, this Byram guy is better than Zadorov or, or, or Gerard. We're giving him the ice time, which means that we can we can make a move right now with the value being way up there because we just won the cup. All their players are so valuable. You can make the argument um, the for and against. I just like to make sure that the, the trades that we make are somewhat realistic. I think it's a somewhat realistic trade. So Nikita Zadorov is going to be injured, and it's only day-to-day. -day. Okay, good. It's only day-to-day, -day, so I don't have to wait forever. Uh, so let's go just till the next game, maybe. Yeah, up against the Islanders. Advanced day. Uh, advanced day. Oh, roster management. And Tim Heed is available to play. Okay, good. Uh, continue. All right. So, proposed trade. Let's go back to the Colorado Avalanche. 
and see what kind of value it's going to take to, to acquire Gerard and Zadorov. All right, so again, defensemen. So let's give you guys a look-see at their defensemen. All right, this is how I see it. Krug and Makar are the big-time guns. Byram's coming. Gerard and Zadorov. All right, but they have Timmins at 23 years of age, 82. So just right there, you know, Byram, Timmins, Makar, and Krug. That's four defensemen. They don't need $9 million got, uh, tied up in a bottom four pairing. They don't need that. They already have young guys. And they still have Eric Johnson for another two years. They can let him walk. And this Graves guy. They got plenty of D-men. They got plenty. So I'm going Gerard and Zadorov. All right. I'll show you what their team looks like afterwards. Woo! That's a lot of money. And what do they want? So if you're the Colorado Avalanche, you still think you can win. You want prospects. You want cheap players that you can groom. Turn into RFAs and flip them if you want. Pressburg is not going anywhere. He's staying. Van Ryan's not going anywhere. Spiller's not going anywhere. But this Pinelli guy, we had just drafted him. But now that we know the setup of our team, we have a playmaker on the first line, Laffy Taffy. We have a playmaker on the second line in Sammy Blade. Who's our playmaker on the third line with uh, with Pressburg? It is Hino Stroza, right? So Pressburg is the third line center. I don't need a third line center. And this guy was the 10th overall pick in last year's draft for us, right? Now, people right now are saying Pinelli is better than Spiller. We don't need a center playmaker, guys. Our team is already set for center playmakers. We need snipers. Van Ryan and Spiller both work on the third and fourth line for our NHL team. We tested that already. We're grooming them for the depth for the future. So Pinelli is one guy, a prospect who just went 10th overall. Makes sense for the... Uh, for the Colorado Avalanche. And then this guy Dunham. We selected him with our 22nd pick in last year's draft. So these are two prospects that both went in the first round. One of them went in the top 10. They're both 18 years of age. They haven't played a single game in the NHL. I mean, that makes sense. They're both three years left minor league contracts. It's not that bad. Now, I don't think that contract, I don't think that trade is going to go through. I will attempt it. Trade rejected. So we're going to have to add something a little bit more. Uh, I wouldn't like to give up any more roster players. Um, we could go draft picks. I could try, I could try a third round pick. And because we're giving up two prospects, I wouldn't mind giving them like roster players. Like, uh, like Tim Heed, not Tim Heed. Like, like who would be one of our defensemen that we're trading away now? Who's got like a one year deal? Like all these guys got one year deals. So we would be parting ways with... Hold on to DeHaan for right now. Puglia, Dachin, Santini. Parting ways with, yeah, let's part ways with Santini. We know he's not going to be on the squad. Um, and we're getting our defensive defenseman back. I'm actually getting two defensemen back. So, yeah, we're going to part ways with Santini and Edmondson right here. All right? Because Vatanen can still, Hachek and Heat are playing. Vatanen can still play. Actually, no, I got to get rid of one of the, one of the offensive defensemen. So, let's get rid of Santini. And Pouliot, I still want to groom. Damn. All right, Edmondson it is. Yeah, Edmondson. Vatanen? That would kind of make sense for them. But no, I want to, I want to see. I don't think they need Vatanen. Because I don't want them to accidentally give him like a contract extension. So let's go just Santini and Edmondson. Because we know we're moving on from Edmondson, all right? So a third and then two more just depth. Oh, Colorado would have more than 45 skaters. All right, so that's not going to work. So how about just Santini? All right, so that would just work like that. Santini, a third, Dunham and Pinelli for Gerard and Zadorov. So again, to recap, the fourth and fifth best defensemen, they have tons of young players coming up. They need room in the cap. We are trading them two first, um, two first rounders that went in last year's draft who haven't even touched the NHL just yet, a third round pick, and a defenseman to go along just to help them out with depth this season. Green light, green light, banger. Rejected still. Woohoo! All right, let's try a third and a fourth. If that doesn't go through, I'll try the second. But I, I, I like this. I like this idea. All right, I like this idea. So I'm going to try third to fourth. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Trade rejected. All right. So I think we're going into second round territory. Now, it may seem like we're overpaying, but um, all these draft picks are essentially going into the players we're bringing in. We got a player that can last six years and then five years. These are our draft picks coming in. I don't mind giving up second round picks. And we still have tons of assets that we're going to be flipping uh, that we can get draft picks back. So I'll go with that second round pick as well. Trade rejected. All right. Maybe it's Santini that they don't want to take on, you think? Hang on. If I remove Santini and I do that. Okay. Okay, so Santini is the one. Might need a second and a third. Switch Edmondson with Santini. That's a good point. Yep. Yeah. Okay, well, that's a good idea. Uh, that's a good idea. Edmondson had a little bit more trade value. Yep, yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. got it. Got it. 
All right, so second, Edmondson, Dunham, and Panelli for Gerard and Zadorov. Will it go through? Still not. Hmm. First round pick. Might do the first round pick because we're not going to be a good team. Try two seconds. Yeah, hang on, hang on. We're going to do this. We're in, we're in converse. We're in negotiation right now with uh, Colorado. So second and a third for Edmondson. Or Ed, and Edmondson. Still not. All right, let me try taking out Edmondson here because that, I swear, the white names sometimes, they hurt the trade. A second and a third. A bit low. Okay, we're in. Edmondson made it worse. No, no, no. Edmondson made it worse. We're in the money here. We're in the money here. So a second and a third and a fourth will go. Uh, the white, they don't want any more. See, they're dumping defensemen. They don't want them. They don't want them. All right, so a second and a third and a fourth. So they're getting themselves tons of youth for the future, and we're getting ourselves two big time, well, hopefully. Oh, God, please, chemistry, be good. Defensemen for our team. Will it go through? Fucking piece of shit. What? All right, next year's second. What that? They, they screw up. They fleece in me. They fleece in me. All right, uh, that second next year actually has some pretty good value to it. So let me get rid of the Detroit second. Let me just try this. Not sufficient at all. Nope. <laughs> I'm going to piss off the friggin'. Yeah, let's just go second. Two seconds, man. They're screwing me over big time. Proposed trade. Will it go through? There it is. All right, so uh, what's going on? Ha uh, waiver eligible? Oh, shit. Tim Heed is waiver eligible. We might lose Tim Heed to... Uh, well, Tim Heed's only 78 overall, and I'm getting more offensive defensemen, and I still have Derek Pooley. Out. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, Van Ryan is not waiver eligible, so he'll be fine. So Van Ryan, our fourth line right winger, is getting sent down. So I'm going to have to, yeah, we're going to have to completely reshape the roster. All right? Doing it. Doing it. Doing it. Doing it. Bang! Trade accepted. All right. We both, oh, please. Oh, please. Gerard and Zadora. Please, God, let them be good. All right. So, uh, did we lose Tim Heed? Hang on a second. Did we lose Tim Heed in the system? Did we lose Tim Heed? No! We lost Tim Heed, boys. Tim Heed is gone. Tim Heed has been selected. Oh, no, he's not. What? I thought he said... He what? What's going on here? I thought Tim Heed... Shit, man. Okay, okay, okay. What about the other guy? Van Ryan. Is he still here? Hang on a second. Forwards, Van Ryan. Uh, is he still in the NHL? Oh, let me just check AHL squad. Van Ryan, Van Ryan, Van Ryan, Van Ryan. Yeah, Van Ryan got sent down. So Van Ryan got sent down, but Tim Heed didn't. Interesting. I have no clue why. All right. Uh, edit lines. Is it because we have an injury? And so because of the injury, I'm allowed one more player up? Man, when you start trading, it gets confusing. Scratch. Oh, that's why. Is Tim Heed injured injured? I don't know. Okay. Do you guys think? Do you think he's good? Do you think they're good? All right. Please, God. Please, God. Please, God. All right. So, hey, check is the defense. Please, Gerard. Please be plus five. Please substitute no lines. <gasps> Hallelujah! My goddamn scout came through! Samuel Gerrard, this is your team, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. Alright. Alright, so that's you. Uh, let's move Haycheck down. Let's Instead of Edmondson. So Edmondson makes it worse, because Edmondson is not... I'll show you guys Gerrard. Oh, yes! Yes, 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 Alright, so Samuel Gerrard is there. Good. Uh, what about what about Zadorov? Please, God, please, God, Zadorov. You're a shit in Toronto. Please, God, please, 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 please. <gasps> and I have hit the jackpot, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. All right. So that's why I was willing to give up draft picks and everything because we just landed a 26 year old and a 23 year old. Perfect for Lafreniere's first half of his career. Don't worry about oh, they'll be 30 in five years. Fuck that, all right? We got good players that we can run with for a good, like, three, four-year... The four-year plan is set with these two guys. Put it like that. Switch sides? Hang on a second. All right, now I got Haycheck still. That and in. Scratch players. Can Tim Heed play? Because uh, uh, I'd throw Timmy Heed in here if he can play. Yeah. Nah, it's beginning. It's building. And then I got Derek Pouliot if I need, but I need a defensive defensive. So I might as well go for the other two guys that we were looking at, right? Pouliot's in the AHL. Right, but we wanted Bean. Who was the other guy? Carlo and Bean, right? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pouliot might be the guy instead of Heed. Okay, okay. Uh, shit. What do I need to do? Starting lines, offense. Oh, okay. Just throw in uh, Howerluck or Goudreau. Goudreau, get your ass in there. All right, don't worry about the fourth line for now. Don't worry about the fourth line. I'm, I'm editing shit. What's this? AHL. Son of a bitch. Hang on. Defense. Uh, Trafford. And I need a defensive defenseman. Howard. Nardelia. Pouliot. 
Uh, Puglia, I will be playing you. Just hang on, Puglia. You're going to be coming back up to the NHL when I figure shit out. All right. All right. So that's step one done, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So next, let's go back because we have all these forwards. Player search. Uh... The Colorado Avalanche were not looking to take on any new contracts. That's why they didn't want the defenseman. They wouldn't have wanted any of our forwards. But maybe these guys are uh, there too. All right, so Sa Seattle Stallions now have Samuel Gerrard. All right, beautiful. And Zadorov. Now, next up, who did we say? Uh, Brendan Carlo. All right, so let's take a look at Brendan Carlo and see if it makes sense. Remember, the Boston Bruins last year were the second worst. Three. Ooh, uh, you, mean, you know what? Maybe they don't want to trade away Brendan Carlo. They are 15-7-2. They are playing very good this year. Can we legitimately try to take Brendan Carlo from the uh, from the Boston Bruins? They got McAvoy. They got Brody at 31. They got Vakanen. Have they signed any of these? Oh, okay. They've gone long-term with Vakanen, Zaboral, McAvoy. Okay. They have this guy Tarv Tarv Tarvenin? Tarvenin? Who did they draft him? They just drafted him second. Right. That was the guy they just drafted second overall. That's actually not that bad, because McAvoy and Tarvinen, Brody, Vakanen, Zaboral, and they haven't signed Carlo to an extension just yet. That's not that bad, because, like, if we're giving them a roster, if they want a forward, what do they got up front? They got Pasta, they got Brad, they don't have a center, he's injured. They got, they, it really falls off after that, doesn't it? So, a, a sniper winger would be perfect, like, it's just roster trade. You've got defensemen coming, do you want any of my forwards? Oh, here we go. Karanoff. Bjugstad. Kasha. Which one? Let's see who has the best value. Malkin. Kasha's got the best value. Straight up. Kasha. Kasha for Carlo. Let me just double check Carlo. All defensive pairings. Yep, with the Henrik Henriksen. It's not bad. We know Kasha's not going to work for us, boys. You can get him for Kubelik. Kubelik, I'm going to be using on the fourth line. He's fine for one year. This guy's in the AHL. Kosh is in the AHL. Get a pick? Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you might be right. But it, it, Carlo was a white name, so I don't know. I'll try to get a third. Try to get a third. But they do want to give it up, too. Woo! Hang on. We might be able to get a second. <laughs> uh, boom. Okay, third it is. Carlo and a third. All right. So, Kasha... For Carlo and a third, I like it. They're getting it's just a it's a forward for a defenseman. Team needs bang. There it is. Trade accepted. Bang. All right. Oh shit. Roster moves. Did that screw up Tim Heat? I think it, uh, twenty-one players. Now did Tim Heat get sent down? Oh, he's not here anymore. He he's down in the system. He did not get picked up in waivers. All right. So we're good. We're good. So we got Carlo. So let me go see if... Please, Carlo. Please, 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 please. So I can throw Carlo alongside of Pouliot or Heed when I bring them back up. But I just want to... Because Jake Bean is still out there. And we were targeting him. So let's go. Please, 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 please. Carlo. Substitute in all lines. Yeah. Yes. Okay. The team is coming together. The team is certainly coming together now. So I got Carlo. I got Gerard. I got Z uh, Zadorov. I got Hayek. I got Heed. I got Pouliot. Bean. Bean is the one guy now to bring it all together. Uh, back to out of lines. What the hell am I editing now? Uh, offense. Let me just throw somebody in here. Um, Gusev. Gusev, you're on your way out. Van Ryan. Yeah, okay. So, you know what? I might as well just do best lines. We're going to have to do some major power. Yeah, fucking best line. We're going to do... Yeah, what? Uh, we're going to do all of our lines again before we start our simulation. All right? Sorry, guys. It's all over the place right now. Um, and... Uh, and uh, the other defenseman, offensive defenseman that I wanted was Jake Bean from the Carolina Hurricanes. Again, 23. Same thing as Carlo. One year left. He's still on a two-way deal. Um, but I believe, if they still have the same roster, I believe that the Carolina Hurricanes would have a plethora of defensemen. They're not having a great season. So you might be able to, you know, get them to take on, let's see, their defensive core. I mean, yeah, Bean is what? One, two, three, four, five, six. He's the seventh from the top. They still have CC. And Pesci behind him, come on. That's that's not a bad trade at all, right? They've committed long-term to Hamilton Shea, Slavin, Petrie, Gardner. They have Flurry coming up. Come on, that one makes sense. That one completely makes sense. All right. So, does he have an extension? Uh, let me check. I don't think he did. In fact, I know he didn't, but I'll just double-check. No, no extension. No extension. All right. So, just same, same thing. Uh, forward, a roster player that's in the AHL right now. Who do you want? Who do you want? We got tons of them. Garanoff. 
Garanov, Gusev, Bjugstad. Which team is this we're trading him to? Carolina. They're in the other conference. It doesn't matter. Ah, uh, Garanov. Straight up. Would have been good, Garanov, but your chemistry just wasn't there for us. So, Garan you know what? That chemistry it doesn't even get us there. Look at that. So, let's try Garanov and a pick. Do they want a pick? Yes, they do. Let's try a Garanov and a third. All right. Garanov and a third for Jake Bean, baby. Come on, I need it. Trade rejected. All right, two thirds. Remember, I still have Gusev and all those guys. We're gonna flip them for. Uh, we're gonna flip them for uh, what's it called? Uh, 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 draft picks. So I'm just gonna do it. Jake Bean is a draft pick essentially, right? He's a roster player for us. That's young. So this is save the picks. Why? Two thirds for a guy who's young, who's got ten years on your team. That's what you want from your picks. This is perfect. Yes, yes. Garanoff for Jake Bean. Oh, come on. Be be good. Be good. The thing about having scouts, at the, the scouts that we have, the A scouts, that's why I needed a year or two to get the A scouts. They're usually pretty accurate. Uh, Jake Bean, are you, in the, are you on the NHL team? Yes. Okay, so I got a shit ton of defensemen here. Edit lines. Pressburg got sent down? That's okay. He got sent down because he was on a two-way deal. Don't worry about that. That's what I mean about doing, I have to do best lines all over again. I know. That's on me. I gotta, I'm going to have to just completely reshape this team again. So we'll throw how we're looking there. So, Carlo, hey, check. I'll take hey, check out just for right now. Come on, Beanie. Come on, Beaner. Come on. <laughs> I got plus fives on every defensive line, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. All right. So, Zadorov, Bean, Carlo, and Gerard. 23, 26, 23, 25. Beautiful. Now, Santini and DeHaan can go. I could just trade these guys. Uh, Vatnin, I need Hayek. And Pouliot or Heed, right? Heed and Pouliot. Yeah, Hayek and Pouliot and Heed for the... And then you wait for Malkin who replaces Pouliot or Heed. Yeah, that's the style. That's the team. It's set. All right, so we know what we've got now. Um, I've got to go and do a complete... I got to do everything again. So we're going to do some power of video editing right now, ladies and gentlemen. I will be right back and we can actually start the... Uh, or we can continue the season three simulation. I'll be right back. Okay, so before we do the power of video editing, I forgot. We're not done, because now we've figured out our team. Now it's time to just trade away the guys that we don't need who have term. All the guys who have one year, I'll hold on to, because that's depth, and they can go to free agency, because my team is set. You guys are acting like we need to trade for more shit. We have shit. We're, we're good. So what I want to do now is we just want to get the guys who are in the AHL suffering. Just get them gone. Just get the, let them go play somewhere else, all right? So goaltenders, for example, I got uh, Lungfist, I got Demko, Comrie's going to run in the net for right now, because he could be the backup again for next season if Demko is ready to go, so we're not touching anything there. Defenseman, so we got Zadorov, we got Gerard, Vatnin, we do not need Vatnin, although we can hold on to him for depth, I think that's ridiculous for a guy like this. Alright, so let's just, and if we're trading guys like this, what we got to do is just see what the league wants. So, I don't want roster players. I want uh, draft picks. A first-round pick from Anaheim in 2022. That's this year. Uh, Kopaka. A first-round pick in this year's upcoming draft would be beautiful. You know what I mean? I don't even care about the team. So, we got Arizona, uh, Buffalo from next year. But Buffalo and Okposo. I'm not taking on a contract. That first-round pick would be... I don't want any contracts. Penel... No, that's dumb. I'm not going to screw around with the, team, with the Colorado Avalanche after that game's dumb. Uh... Rossi. No, no, no. I don't need to. I, I just... The first round pick is perfect. Okay. So we can go for Winnipeg's first round pick next year and a third or Anaheim's pick this year. What do you think? I'll wait for the guys in the... Uh, my scouts in the Twitch chat right now. The Anaheim trade just for this year. Anaheim. Anaheim. All right. So Vatnin is going back to the Anaheim Ducks, ladies and gentlemen. Accept the trade. Thank you very much for your time, Sammy Vatnin. But uh, it is time for us to uh, to move on. So we got Zadorov, Gerard, uh, Bean, Hayek, Edmondson. Now Edmondson could be a depth player for us because only got one year, and that's not a lot of trade value, right? So I think I can hold on to Edmondson. Oh, uh, I can hold on to Santini. All right. Let's see what we can get for Edmondson because I got Santini and I got Tahan or Puli. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so let's see what we can get here. A second. A second from Boston. Second from Colorado. Second from Florida. Two-thirds. A second. There you go. A second and a fifth in this year's draft. Uh, next year's draft. Oh, I like that from the uh, from the New York Islanders. 22, uh, 2022 second rounder and a 2023 uh, uh, fifth rounder. I like that one, boys. The Rangers. 
Rangers, 2023 second rounder and a 2022 third rounder. All right. Okay, I'll take that. There you go. That's a better accumulation. All right, so Joel Edmondson to the Rangers. Bam, listening to the fans. Boom, done. Move on. Next up, we got to hold on to Santini. He's nice and cheap. Uh, DeHaan. DeHaan can go. We don't need DeHaan. I don't know if any teams are going to want DeHaan at $4.5 million. Yes, they do. Okay, good. Let's just get him off the team. Uh, Bogosian mm, taking on shitty contracts, it looks like. Just going to hold on to DeHaan then. He can play. Yeah, just hold on to him. He can play in the AHL. It's only got one year left, and we're going to be fine. Hold on to him. Uh, so get him off. Unselect him, please. Pouliot, I'll hold on to. Dachin, Heed. All right, so there are the defensemen taken care of. Hey, I can eat Santini. I'm going to hold on to Santini and DeHaan. Yes. I might even drop Santini to waivers, to be honest. One of these guys are going to have to get dropped. You know what? Let me just, one of these guys are going to have to get dropped through waivers. Santini, let me just see. Because I'm going to have DeHaan, yeah, I have to send one of them down. Clear up your cap. DeHaan would clear, okay, let's just see if DeHaan clears. Fair enough, because we were willing to trade him anyways. All right, so let's hold on to Santini, because he could be decent depth. Uh, Pouliot, Dodgen. All right, so they're all the defensemen taken care of. Forwards now. All right, so Evander, Blay. Kubalik, we're holding on to because I like him on the fourth line. If Evander goes down with an injury, Pressburg goes down with an injury, you need a guy like this. Um, he could play in the first line as well uh, instead of Kane, but uh, this might be an example of somebody who just walks. All right, I know he's got some trade value, but he can also help us with a Stanley Cup. Watch your cap. It won't let me go below the cap. Relax. All right, so we got Bjugstad and Gusev. So I'll try to get Bjugstad off the team. Uh, how many years? Oh, Bjugstad's only got one year. Let me try to get Gusev off the team first. The guys with term. The guys with one year left. It's not the end of the world. Gusev. Anybody? Uh, second rounder from Boston in this year's upcoming draft. Uh, two thirds. Two thirds. Second rounder from. And Kreider. I ain't taking on Kreider's contract. <laughs> second and a fourth from Philly. Two thirds in Baines. Two thirds from Winnipeg. Yeah, the second and the fifth, I think. Boston trade. Yep. Gusev. So we're giving Boston another four. We gave them Kasha, did we? And we're giving them Gusev now. So Boston got a little strong there. Boston got a little. Philly. Philly. Everyone's saying Philly. What happened with Philly? Let's see. Philly. Philly a second and a fourth. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'll take that. Accept trade. There you go. Gusev to Philly. Unfilled lines in the minors. Okay. Just go best lines for right now. All right. So I have, I'm starting to get the teams uh, set again. So defenseman, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Santini and DeHaan. So I want to bring up Pouliot. We're going to leave. Yeah, we're going to bring up Pouliot. So you guys are okay with me dropping DeHaan and losing him in waivers? Because he's waiver eligible. And we already have, he's an offensive defenseman who's not going to help. Pouliot and he would be better offensive defensemen. We can hold on to Santini as the defensive. Yeah, okay. So the fans are fine with DeHaan getting claimed in waivers. All right. So Pouliot and DeHaan are going to switch. We'll see what happens. Uh, well, you will be required to fix waiver eligible players. Must clear waivers before being reassigned. Uh, no waivers for Pouliot. Waivers for DeHaan. Yep, I'm good. All right. Nobody wanted DeHaan. You guys were right. I think he cost a little bit too much. So that's good. He can help out the AHL squad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that is our defensive core for the uh, for the rest of the year. Forwards, we're going to need two guys up here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, uh, thirteen, fourteen. But we need, yeah. So who are we bringing up again? Yeah, it was Pressburg. And who else? Van Ryan. Right. Pressburg and Van Ryan. Those are the two guys, correct? Yes. And Bjugstad can just help out the guys in the minors for one year. Okay. Okay. So, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, 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 wait. I might have more guys to trade. Hang on. Uh, just best lines. I'll figure it out later. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, forwards. A lot of micromanaging, but that's what is required to be uh, the greatest general manager of all time, all right? Other people would have given up. Bjugstad. Uh, I, mean, I, guess I can see what I get for him. He's got decent trade value. We know we're not using him. Yeah, let me see what I get. You're under the salary? The game won't let me go under the salary once the season starts. Doesn't work like that. Huh. LA, do I get a first round pick for Bjugstad anywhere? That'd be nice. Second and a third. What the hell? 
Oh, I'm such an idiot. I thought I got Saitsev. I got Zadorov. I completely... Uh, I'm an idiot. I got a... <laughs> All right, Pittsburgh, a second and a third. Trade him back to Pittsburgh. Bobby Ryan, Niskanen. Uh, the St. Louis Blues, second and a third. Oh, here we go. The Winnipeg Jets, second and a third. Let's do that. Although they are in the... No, I'd rather trade them to the Eastern Conference. Yeah. Pittsburgh. I like the Pens. Second and a third. We get a second from this year. I'm going to accept that trade. There you go. Bjugstad, thank you very much, my man. All right, so roster moves. I was so confused when you said Zadorov was on Toronto. Yeah, I was thinking Sites. I don't know why, man. That just that just completely screwed me up. Sorry about that, boys. All right, so that's that taken care of. Uh, best line. Just best line the hell out of everything. We will spend the next 30 minutes going back. to. Oh, don't worry. I'll power video edit it for you guys. Uh, but there you go. Salary cap available. 20 million. We are still fine for the cap. Don't worry about a damn thing. Um, and if I need to bring somebody up, I can always bring up Dahan if I am not sad, but I'm pretty sure the game won't let you go underneath the salary cap once the season has started. All right. So other than that, I think we're good. Is there anyone else? Anyone else who's got good overall who's playing in the AHL? Dahan, but we're not. Yeah, we're going to hold on to him. We couldn't get much for him. And then Tim Heed. So Tim Heed's been replaced by Derek Puglia. All right. So with that being said, now it is time for the power of video editing. I will be right back. Well, you guys will uh, think that I'm right back. I'm about to spend the next 30 minutes editing two different teams. Oh, ha, ha. Pray for me. All right, so that took a lot longer than I wanted, but it was successful. The Seattle Stallions are ready to go. Just wait until these guys start to hit their prime with the plus fives. Oh, it's going to be unbelievable. Appreciate it there, Mobius1. Thank you very much, my man. Johnny, I've been playing franchise mode for years in NHL games. Whenever, whenever I play my Sims in NHL 20, it doesn't give me the option of the trade finder. Is there a certain setting? I have no freaking clue, my, my, my man. Where I go to it, you just got to try to go to it. Maybe you have trades off or something. <laughs> Don't know what to tell you. But um, when it comes to the offense, plus fives across the board. Defense, look at that now, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that now. Hell yes. Plus fives everywhere. So you make the argument that they're all like top four, maybe even top two defensemen. Um, because the plus five, I don't even know if the plus five raises your overall or if it raises your, your, like, your plus to every single category. It says plus five overall, but how does it even rate that? You know, Does everything just go up until you hit? plus five like who knows man but it's going to be a good freaking lineup uh followed up by the five man power play fives so i've essentially built a team with fives on the first three lines uh fives on every defensive line and fives on each power play line all right so five on five and power play that's what we should be scoring goals now here is a weakness i'll absolutely admit it it's our penalty kill but i'm going to remedy that next year by filling out our fourth line with two-way forwards we're going to lose that plus three but that's okay uh might even just go two two-way forwards it might even make van ryan uh well actually no van ryan's moving up to yeah van ryan's moving up next year so once we move on from jansen van ryan moves up Two, uh, three two-way forwards on the fourth line, um, and they can then chip in on the penalty kill. We can get some plus in there as well and just be a complete team, all right? So uh, that's essentially it, ladies and gentlemen. Still running with uh, Henrik Lundqvist and the AHL squad. Uh, we're still grooming, what is it? Spiller, Luff, and Malkin, Reyes, and Ivanov, all right? So all those guys are getting their time. Um, also, the power play down here with Malkin, Luff, and uh, Spiller are all at plus five. So things are looking great. Things are looking awesome. I want to give you guys an update on what we have when it comes to draft picks. Uh, what do we get again? The Anaheim Ducks. So we have to keep an eye on where the Anaheim Ducks finish the season. If they have a bad year, we might have a lottery pick. But we have the Seattle Stallions, our pick for this year. We have the Anaheim Ducks pick. We have the Pittsburgh Penguins second. We have the New York Rangers third. So we loaded up back on draft picks, so we're not going to have a weak draft. And then next year, we got two seconds, two thirds. So we have a team. We have a roster. We have young guns. We have players signed. And uh, we still have draft picks. So things are looking real good. So we want to keep an eye on the Anaheim Ducks. I think I just saw their record. It was pretty, pretty decent. Let's see. Anaheim Ducks, Anaheim Ducks, Anaheim Ducks. Oh, they're in our division. What am I doing? Yeah, they are 29 points, but they could easily drop that. I mean, they're they're 13, 9, and 3. You know, they could easily drop down. That could be a real good pick. So before we continue the simulation, after all of those uh, trades, we might have some new captains on this team. Uh, so we got Lafreniere, Kubelik, and Kane. I'm going to take it off Kubelik. Laffy Taffy and Kane is good. And then you go to the defensemen. Can't be Gerard or... Uh, or uh, they, They're all new. Hayek, he's been here through it all. He's been to the playoffs. 
Hayek gets the A, baby. Hayek's on that first line, so he's getting the A. Let's see. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put it on him, and we're gonna see what he can do. What about Blay? I already got two A's on the uh, the forwards. You need an alternate on the. Uh, on the defenseman as well. And last but not least, we're going to see if we can extend any of the players that we just signed. We know who we want on this team now. So uh, let me go to defenseman first. All right. Jake Bean and Brendan Carlo. Eight-year extension, boils. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, okay. So uh, I went to trade for asset. My bad. So it seems like Jake Bean was signed to a one-year offer by the Carolina Hurricanes. So I cannot extend him whatsoever. Uh, Brendan Carlo. Same thing, extended for one year. They might have even gotten qualifying offers, so I cannot extend them at all. Uh, Derek Pouliot, I could, no, nope, can't extend him, right, because I signed him. So no extensions are going to happen. Um, Kubelik, we're not signing. He knows Stroza. I could sign long term. Nope, I signed him to a one year deal, right? All these guys we signed to one year deals. So there are no extensions. January 1st, you goof. So if you sign a guy to a one year DM, one year deal, you can sign him to an extension after January 1st. The Twitch, the Twitch scouts are telling me right now. They're yelling at me. January 1st. That's something I did not even know about in the game. So let's try it out. We'll start our simulation with our new squad and uh, we'll see how well we perform. And everyone's saying that I can sign an extension after January 1st. So let's go buy the Anaheim Ducks. We'll see what the record looks like. We'll reassess the situation. But uh, here it is. How good do you guys think we're going to simulate? How good do you guys think we're going to simulate? Please, just don't give me any stupid injuries that re wrecks everything. Let's just go for a little bit. Let's go for a little bit. Come on. First game up against the New York Islanders. And it is a 4-2 win. Nice. I wouldn't say you're going to see like 10 to nothing wins. It's not going to be that dominant. But we should be a team that simulates well. Five-game winning streak. Let's go. Up against Montreal. Five, see? Five to four loss. But we still scored four goals in a loss against Carey Price. So when I'm looking at this team, penalty kills the next thing. So we want to target two-way forwards or grinders for next season. Slap them alongside of our, uh, our defensive... De Oh, no, that's Boston. I was like, Tagaskis? That's Boston. That wasn't our... Lyles was our old, uh, old coach. All right, so uh, Trenton Spiller has been injured with the neck sprain. I'm just going to replace him. I'll throw him back in there afterwards. That's another W. Sebastian Aho is being placed on waivers. That's the defenseman, though. That's not the good at Sebastian Aho. Is he an off... He's an offensive defenseman, but I don't know anything about him. Offensive defenseman, though. 25 years of age. Could play in the AHL. Could play in the AHL. But I already have Malkin. I already had no. You know what? I already had nah 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 nah. I already have guys. Nah nah nah. Decline. Decline. I already have players. Claim. Nah 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 nah. We already we already know. We already have Dehan and all those guys. It's fine. I don't need. I'll show you. I'll show you actually. See, I got Malkin. I got Heed and I got Dehan. I, I let's just use Dehan for one year. You need wingers. Yeah, I, I It was just an AHL depth defenseman for one year. It's fine. Uh, so let me get Trafford out of there. Guillermo Trafford. Let me put Trenton Spiller right back in. Even though he's got a, a, a lingering injury. Whatever. He'll be fine. All right. Next up, the St. Louis Blues. That's a 4-1 loss to the Blues. That's going to stop our little three-game winning streak. We're going to lose back-to-back. -back. Have we lost back-to-back -back in, a, in a while? So that's the nice thing. Vinny Hinostroza. Ooh, fractured jaw for, uh, for, um, for Vinny. So this is what I mean. Uh, that's a big-time injury. Uh, edit lines manually, but we're still going to be all right because I think we'll be able to we'll be able to handle this kind of stuff when it happens. So watch, I could throw like Cousins up to the third line, right? Maybe even throw Pressburg and Kubelik around. Nope. So we're just going to throw Cousins up to that first line, and then we'll go down here and throw Chase Howerlook. Boom. Nothing wrong with that. You still got the two plus fives. See what I mean? We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We got chemistry up the arse. Um. And now penalty kill. Pressburg, I'll take Cousins off. And we'll throw Chase Howard look because I, I got him. And he should give me that little... Yep, now we got a... There, there you go. See what I mean? Now a minus one for each uh, penalty kill. It's not that bad. There you go. Bringing it together. I could even go zero. Yeah, there's a lot There's a lot of different options there. A lot of different options. Van Ryan move up to the third. I think he's a sniper. Oh. Genius. Good call. Good call. Oh, but we did. We lose. No, no. Well, you guys were right. What's the difference between... Oh, right. Van Ryan's the guy built for the third line alongside of Pressburg. Right. Bravo. Bravo, boys. Bravo. All right. So, Van Ryan's been put up with uh, with Pressburg and Cousins, and we'll still maintain that plus five. And that actually might help out Van Ryan to get some, some production going. Um, I know it sucks his numbers, but don't worry about a damn thing. With his plus five, once we start playing him on the third line... He will grow. Do not worry about a damn thing. 
All right, so there is the injury replacement for uh, Trent Spiller's been back in there, and also we switched out, um, who was it? Vinny Nostroza, right? And uh, at the end of December, we have a record of 25, 9, and 4. What about the Anaheim Ducks? 20, 13, and 5, so they're a good team. Don't expect them to miss the playoffs. All right, so now I want to see if you guys are uh, you guys are right. Vinny's on the power play, was he? Fractured jaw, so yeah, I should change the power play if he's going to be that long. Let me see. Special teams, power play. Yeah, good call. So, Vinny's going to be hard to replace. Maybe, what's his face? We'll actually have the perfect. What's our center? Cousins. He might actually be decent. There you go. Works. Cousins. Cousins and a nice little fourth line playmaker. Anytime I lose somebody, he just fucking come. He loves every line. Look at this guy. He stays. Depth. Nick Cousins is staying, man. He's great. All right. So, we still got our plus fives. Uh, now, what was that? What did you guys want me to check now that I was here? The extensions, right? The extensions. I didn't even know that. A few contracts. I did not even know that. Extend uh, uh, Cousins? Yeah, might, might be a good idea. All right, so Thatcher Demko does not want a contract extension. And if he did, how much would he be getting paid? It's not that bad. Four-year extension. Might as well just wait until the offseason with him. Might as well just wait until the offseason. Henrik Lundqvist is the man right now. So I don't need to sign any goalies. I don't want to get locked down in goaltenders, all right? Because uh, he could have another bad year and then I'm, then I'm, then I'm locked in. Uh, Jake Bean wants to sign the extension. Okay. So we can go crazy with it or we can kind of just keep it nice. I can go 8 times 6.3 for Bean. Carlo... Oh, hell yeah. Carlo, I got to go eight years for sure. That'll take him up to 33 years of age. 3.3. Uh, I could probably go crazy long term. All right. So I can get him nice and cheap. Forwards. Kubelik. I don't think we want to sign Kubelik because he's a fourth liner. Yeah, he's cheap. He could replace Patrick Kane, but I mean, uh, Evander Kane, but uh, no, 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 no. Kubelik doesn't fit in with the team, but guys, doesn't quite fit in with the team. He knows Stroza does, though. We want Vinny back. Vinny certainly works. Uh, so I can go, yeah. You know what? I think I just want to go three-year extension and keep everyone on the same, except for the, the main guys. Like, Vinny, I don't think I need to go past 30 years of age. I'll find another playmaker by then, right? So Vinny, I'll go three. Let, let's just keep him on the, the contract length as every, as the same as everyone else. All right, 2.5 for three years. There you go, Vinny. All right, there you go. Uh, Aberg, he, he doesn't want a contract. Oh, he didn't want one. So I'm going to have to actually offer them a little bit more. Offer contract extension. Three years. I'll give you three million. There you go, Aberg. All right. Uh, Baptiste is a good one for the second line with Sammy Blay and uh, Thing. So Baptiste was pretty good. Yeah. But he's a top nine. So he could drop by the time he's 30. Drop pretty hard. So you know what? Three years. I'll find more guys. All right. All right we have sweet ass freaking. Uh, uh, yeah. Three years. Three years is fine. Three years is just fine. Uh, but they didn't want to sign, so we'll go three years at times three. Okay. Cousins. Can't sign Cousins. Goudreau, nope. All right, so we're going to get some of our depth that uh, help out the chemistry. Kubelik, I don't like that. Con if I can sign into a three-year ext extension, what is it? 4.5. If you're willing to sign a three-year, $4 million contract. Well, hang on. Let me see how much cap space I'll have left after all of it said and done. Uh, so that's the four we're taken care of. And then the defenseman. All right, so Bean, I think, is going to be a good performer. Uh, Gerard, one, two, three, four, five, six. So a five-year extension would match Gerard. One, two, three, four, five. Five and four would match Zadorov and Gerard. Bean. Did Bean want a contract? Yes, he did, so I can save money with Bean. Yeah, that's totally worth it for Bean. Eight times six. You guys on board with that? Johnny check Demko's potential. Did he drop? No, oh, if he dropped, then we might have to... Yeah, we'll just let him walk. We'll keep him for the playoff run, but we'll let him walk. Uh, 8 times 5.5. 8 times 5.750. All right. Yeah, that's the same as uh, Evander Kane. All right, so we'll try 8 years on that, because that'll take him up to 31 years of age. That's solid. And I'm going to grow him. I guarantee you I'm going to grow him. All right, so we'll do that. Got the green light. Sounds good. Everyone's saying it. Bang. All right. And uh, Brendan Carlo... I'd like to give Carlo just a three-year extension. You know, just keep him on the team. Yeah. He's 25. We can find more defensive defensemen. Let's just keep him on the team. Three years. Let's see. Five years? The same as... Mm, he's going to want... Yeah. Three times three for everyone who's going to be becoming a pain in the ass. Three times three. 
All right, there you go. Three times three, three times three, three times three. Uh, Pouliot, I'll wait on. I don't really need to go offer contract unless, fuck it. <laughs> I mean, that's worth it, even if he's a, a depth player, right? That's worth it, yeah. Three times 1.1, that's fine. Uh, Santini, I'll let walk. And goalies, what were you saying about uh, Demko? Potential starter. Yeah, he lost his potential. Now, starters can still grow. If they have really good seasons, starters can still grow. So I'm fine with Demko. Uh, Three-year extension. How much do you want? He doesn't want to sign, so that's a problem. And he's an unrestricted free. I, I'm letting Demko go to free agency. We'll see who else is there. If he's the best goalie, then we'll sign him. I'm not signing him to an extension. No. Uh, let's uh, let's just wait and see what's available. Trade him. Trading goalies is a pain in the ass. I'll wait till free agency. All right? We, we're going to need him for this year. Whatever. Um... All right, and we're waiting on a few other players, right? Yeah, at Kubelik. If I have plenty of money, I'll sign Kubelik. We'll just see how it plays out with Evander Kane. Because that might be a smart thing to make that switch. Uh, but I also want to put Laugh back on the left, and we need to find a center power forward on that first line. So there's a, there's a, lot, there's a, lot, to, there's a lot to do there. So let's just advance a few days, see what the contract extensions. But thanks for teaching me. I didn't know that. So if you sign a guy to a one-year deal, you can extend them after January 1st. So Brendan Carlo came back three times three. He knows throws. I got to give him three times three, right? Because I went 2.5. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't realize. Jake Bean, six times eight. Nice. Derek Pouliot, three times uh, 1.1. Baptiste, three times three. Pontus Aberg, three times three. Nice. Three times three across the board, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, I have $20 million left. I'm starting to get close. And Lafreniere is going to be up in two years. That's, you know what I mean? That's, I'm getting ready for that. So hang on a second. Kubelik. Uh, he knows Stroza. Yeah. He know I want you back. Three times. Let's go three times, uh, three times 275. Shit. Ah, let's go three times three. Just the same as everybody else. Just so he doesn't feel left out. Three times three. Santini, no. Goudreau, no. All these other guys know. All right, so what do you guys want to do with uh, with uh, Kubelik? I have the money to do it. Do we just let him walk and try? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm not signing him. I'm not signing him to an extension to trade him. That's dumb. Uh, we're gonna let him walk. All right, because we're getting two way forwards next time. Let's not be. Let's not cheese the system to sign him and trade him. I'm not doing that. He's he's staying on our team for one year. He wants to go get paid in free agency. He's gonna get the chance to do it. All right. So those are the only guys we're signing and Demko again. Let's see. Nah, I ain't signing you. Garbage. Garbage. I'll wait till free agency. We got the money. So we'll wait. All right. So let's uh, let's advance. You need bodies for injuries in the playoffs. Yeah, that's exactly why I got... <laughs> uh, strained hamstring. He'll be fine. Head coach replaces player. The Kubelik goes down after the trade talks. <laughs> All right. So that's a win over Carolina. We're just waiting for the extensions to go. Hino Stroza is back. Uh, was that the other... Oh, man. 7-2 loss. To the Pittsburgh Penguins and now the Colorado Avalanche, a 4 1 victory. Beautiful. All right, so we're going to continue the simulation. We're going to get all the way to the playoffs, but I just want to show you guys what our team makeup looks like now. So, defensemen, uh, when you look at the top defensemen on our team, Gerard, Zadorov, uh, uh, Bean, and Carlo, right? And hey, and Hayek, and Pouliot. We got them this year. One, two, three. We got them all for at least another three more years. Four more years on Bean, Zadorov, and uh, Gerard. Five more years on Gerard and Bean. Six more years, seven more years. It's beautiful, man. And you're not spending a lot of money on those defensemen either, right? We're actually saving. And then forwards, uh, we got we to gotta get spend a lot of money for Laffy Taffy when that comes up. But that's why I'm saving. Kane signed a long-term. Let's see, these three years deals. We got Kane, Blay, Hino Stroza, Aberg, and uh, Baptiste. So it's coming together, ladies and gentlemen. The team is slowly but surely coming together. We're locking guys in. Um, not long, not super long-term. Because uh, we don't want to overpay them. Jake Bean made sense. If we're going to go eight years, they have to be no older than like 31, 32 by the end of the contract. Um, but I also want to save up money for Lafreniere. All right. Okay, ladies and gents. So let's get back to the simulation. We'll take it down to the trade deadline. I'll do my due diligence, but I really don't think uh, uh, we're going to need to make any trades. I really don't see it happening. All right. So let me go you there. You there, and you, Howard, look, you're going to re be replaced by Vinny. And is Kubelik still injured? Kubelik is injured, right, so Kubelik on the fourth line. So we still got that plus five, and then the special teams, uh, Cousins, all I got to do is replace you with uh, Hino Stroza now again. Bang. 
All right, so we're back to full health, except for uh, Kubelik on the fourth line. Hino Stroza is back. And there you go. A little bit of more uh, micromanaging, ladies and gentlemen. I, my, my apologies, but it has to be done. Kudrow out for Kubelik. I'm telling you, man, that's a stacked-ass team. We better do good in the playoffs this year. Hopefully, we can just get there without suffering a ridiculous... Uh, sore knee, sore knee. Would you stop with the injuries? Replace his player, whatever. It's a sore knee, I'll just replace him and throw him back in there. We have enough firepower up and down the lineup. That one line suffering is not going to kill us. Look at that. We just went on a four-game winning streak. Uh, William Carrier's been injured. That is in the AHL. I'm just going to replace him with whatever depth we have. Uh, Vancouver Canucks... Uh, Samuel Gerrard is available to play. I'm just going to continue. We got, it seems like the all-star break right now. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to let them go. Stop it before the game up against the Philadelphia Flyers. All right. I'll go back and edit the lines this way. Damn, Sammy Blay. He's over point per game. That plus five is really helping him out. <laughs> you have no depth? What are you talking about? I have no depth. I got all the depth I need. Uh, Pressburg, Goudreau. The whole team is, is, is chemistried up the ass. How is that not depth? There you go. Eno Stroza. Uh, Eno Stroza. Whoa, what did I lose on the first line? Santini. Who is the defense? Gerard. Oh, in the AHL, you got no depth. Oh, I see. Yeah, but the game signs uh, players for you in the AHL. Just magical players will, will pop up. All right, so Bean, Gerard is back in. We got our plus fives back. Offense is good. Power play is good. Let's get back to the simulation. All right, so where are we sitting in the standings? The Anaheim Ducks have 52 points. They've actually lost a few games here. The Ducks could miss the playoffs, guys. The Ducks, the Ducks could miss the playoffs. That would be sweet if they did. All right. Uh, so, yeah, you know what? This team is ready to go. I'm, I'm, we're, let's just get to the end. I'm not even doing anything at the trade deadline, all right? We're going. Because what, what honestly could I make a trade for? I want this team to, to see what I want to see what this team can do in the playoffs. We've just signed everyone to three-year deals, uh, unless I'm trading for fourth liners, but I don't want to do that. The Edmonton Oilers have fired head coach Mark Le, uh, uh, Le Couture. We should have taken their first. Actually, no, I got Pressburg with their pick. Fucking Oilers. So with Kevin Shattenkirk, the, the 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 pick that I or the player that I traded for the pick, they're not doing anything. Holy shit! What the hell's going on here? To Calgary goes a first round pick and a second round pick, and Pern to St. Louis goes Eric Gustafson. Man, St. Louis just keeps on loading up on veterans. They want to win another cup. Gustafson, a third. Suter at 78 overall. Brendan Suter? What the fuck? And a fifth round pick. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> Continue the simulation. 7-3 win over the San Jose Sharks. 6-3 loss up against Chicago. 4-3 victory over the New Jersey Devils. I haven't seen us lose like back-to-back -back games in quite some time. Uh, Latang goes to Edmonton. Pit Nurse goes to Pittsburgh with a second. <laughs> we got to take a look at the Edmonton Oilers lineup. What? They're going pure veterans. Pure veterans. Hang on a second here. Uh, 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 view lines. <laughs> view lines. I know, man. Edmonton. They're trying to. They're trying to win a cup. They're getting. They're getting defensemen. Edmonton Oilers. All right. So Dry Saddle, McDavid, Yamamoto, Nuge, Ennis, Benson, Krejci, Pulja Harvey. All right. Defensively, Latang and Shattenkirk. <laughs> Oh, they're trying anything that they can do to get the defensive core go. Oh my god. Oh my god. And they have Robin Lehner in the net as well. What's the record? Are they in the playoffs? Damn, dude. Fucking Edmonton Oilers. They suck. They're dead lad. They're 18, 28, and 6. <laughs> Could you imagine, man? Could you imagine? <laughs> and then they trade for Latang. Oh my god. All right. Well, let's continue. Detroit not looking like a good team. Come on now, Seattle. You can whoop their ass. Yeah, 6-4. to four. Yeah, we got trades. Oh, my God. That's a big one. That's a big one. Anthony Mantha goes to the Winnipeg Jets with Madison Bowie and Brendan Gantz for a first-round pick. Filatov, who I think is a good pro... He might be a good prospect. I can't remember. And a first-round pick again. Next two first-round picks in a second for Anthony Mantha. Tatanka is now in uh, the Western Conference, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, hang on. With Tatanka that good, have they moved on from Blake Wheeler? Is it Shifley, Line A, and Tatanka on that first line? Because that's a power forward playmaker-sniper combination. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hang on a sec. Uh, what team was it? Detroit traded them to shit. Winnipeg. Hang on. <laughs> Sorry, Line A. 
get pushed back to the second line for a power forward, power forward, playmaker combination. <laughs> All right, cool. Boom Easter Bowie. Yeah, I would get line A on that first line. They might have hurt themselves with that, but uh, the power play should still look really good. All right, so other than that, let's just continue the season simulation. It's going to be going a little slow now. It seems like the computers are in full-fledged trade everything mode. Uh, so let's just go like to the last game of the week. Maybe we'll stop against the Toronto Maple Leafs just to see how this team works. All right, up against the Arizona Coyotes. Wait, have we lost two in a row? No, still haven't. I, maybe we have. I haven't been tracking it 100%, but I can't I can't remember. Look, there's trades happening, boys. Holy shit. Saitsev goes to Colorado in exchange for a first, a second. They got another defenseman. Jeez, man. Colorado loading up for another cup run. With all that cap space that I just freed up for them, they just put it into another defenseman. Well, there you go. You guys were wondering. <laughs> I don't know if they're going to be able to sign McKinnon in two years. Jeez. Computer ain't thinking ahead. <laughs> but this year, yeah, they're going to be they're going to be real tough to beat. That might be the Eastern Conference Finals. Uh, mild concussion. Uh, oh, no, just a regular concussion. All right, so that is Pressburg. I might as well edit the lines manually here because that's a big one. I could throw, I could just do a simple, like, Cousins up, Kubelik up. Janssen, Van Ryan. No, that doesn't get it up to see. Kubelik doesn't help us. But uh, for right now, he could be moved back down. And then we'll throw in Howerluck. Chase. All right. So it doesn't hurt us too much. And then we'll go to special teams. We'll go to the penalty kill. Uh, minus three. Howard looks back in there. He knows. No, no, no. Ooh, yeah, because I lost Pressburg. Yeah, I lost Pret. That's a big one. Pressburg is a big, it's a big time penalty killer for us. All right, so Presti's out with a concussion. He'll be back, though. It's not that long of an injury. As long as we're just dealing with these minor injuries or these, like, week to two, three weeks, that's fine. Don't give me anything monthly. Uh, Soderberg going to Ottawa for a second. All right, nothing too spectacular there. Uh, breaking news. The Pittsburgh Penguins have fired head coach Bryson Cl uh, Climey. Jeez, man. Coaches be getting fired left and right in this universe. Trades are happening, too. Look how long the simulation is. Yep. New Tivara going to Winnipeg. Winnipeg loading up, boys. Mark, uh, oh, man. First round pick to Toronto. Toronto picks up Giordano, Jankowski, and Namath. Damn! Teams are loading up for the playoff run. Teams see what Colorado did, and they're, they're trying to match it. Jesus, Giordano to Toronto? That's decent for one year. Uh, Duncan Keith to Arizona. Just uh, some some veterans being moved around here. Roster management. Uh, Derek Pouliot injured groin. Just replaced the player. Oh, there's two losses in a row. There you go. 2-1 loss to, uh, to, to, to Columbus. And then a 2-1 was it uh, shootout loss to Toronto. There you go. 4-3 overtime loss to Toronto. There's two in a row. There's three in a row. What? Four in a row. What? Hang on, hang on. Maybe I can put my finger. Was it Pouliot? Losing Puglia? What the hell happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? Let's see if we lost any chemistry or if it's just if it's just uh, a little bit of a just a coincidence. That still looks fine. Ah, maybe that. Maybe that. Can't do anything about it though. Yeah, can't do anything about it. All I have now to bring in is Puglia. Yeah, can't do anything about it. We got to run with that minus two. Oh well. Team should still be fine. Check the goalie overall. Oh, you think maybe Demko's in the net now because they tied at 85 overall? Hang on. That's a good idea. We want to make sure that Lund Lundy is our starting goalie. Ha, 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 ha. Lundy dropped. Oh, man. His save percentage dropped as well. 899 with the 283 goals against average. 30 wins. Demko. Demko's the better goalie. Demko's the better goalie now all of a sudden. Games played. 22. 30 wins. Well, whatever. You know what? I'm just going to let them go back and forth now. Uh, we're going to make the playoffs no matter what. So, uh, if we lose some games, so be it. 30 wins and 46 played, though. Yeah, that is pretty good for uh, for uh, Lundqvist. But that's, you know, you got to think that if Demko is getting the same amount of games, he's going to get the wins as well. I think this is just a coincidence. I think it's just a few bad games. There's no way. There's no way it continues. All right, so Pouliot is back. I might as well edit that. We can, we can choose which goalie we want in the playoffs, and in the playoffs, we can go back and forth, all right? It's not going to be a big deal. Uh, Derek Puglia. You know what might have hurt as well? Santini was probably on the power play. Uh, the four-man power play right there. Yeah, why did we lose a plus three? Howard look? Right. Howard looks on the power play. Oh, well. We're going to need Pressburg. Yeah, that second line, that, that power play was probably really shit. 
But still, the team should be decent. Do we win or lose? Yeah, we won against the St. Louis Blues. So the five-game losing streak comes to an end. Let's see if we can go on a little bit of a winning streak right now going into the playoffs. Look at that. Five games in a row we lose. We answer back with four that we win. We get a point there in Anaheim. Uh, we beat the Carolina Hurricanes. I'm liking this team. This team could be good if we fucking lose in the first round this year. Uh, we beat the Colorado Avalanche. Uh, bruised hand for Malkin. Don't worry, Malkin. You'll be all right. Uh, Matthias Pressburg. Yep, we want to get him back in immediately. All right, so, okay, let me just do this again. Cousins down there. Kubelik down there. Power look in and out for Presti. There you go. Uh, and then let's just check special teams. That looks good. Penalty kill. Minus two, minus two. Yep. Everything looks good, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get back. Hopefully, just get to the end of the season with a clean bill of health. Nothing stupid. Nothing stupid and long right here at the end of uh, end of March, beginning of April. Just get to the end. Uh, Malkin is available to play. I want to make sure that Malkin gets right back in the lineup, uh, along with Spiller and all those other guys. All right, so Reyes and Malkin. And just to give you guys an update on Malkin. He's a 71 overall now, boys. 71 overall for Malkin. Look at those points this year. He had a first good year in the AHL. 11 goals, 35 assists, plus 12. That's a good year. His first, first line ice time in the AHL. That's good. He's going to be ready to go next year. We're going to get him up for next season. Absolutely. Uh, all right. Fix your first. What's wrong with my first line? Oh, what's, uh, what's wrong with my first line? What are you talking about? Hang on a second, boys. I got Twitch uh, fans telling me I, I fucked something up. AHL first line? Oh. Yeah, because the NHL is fine. What did I do wrong with the AHL first line? McCarran, Wesley, Trafford. Who the hell? Uh, Carrier. That was the one. That's why I got fucked up. There you go. Thanks for calling that, boys. Good call. Good call. See? Switch scouts for helping me out. Anything that I uh, uh, miss, they get. Hey, and we clinched our division. We didn't just win the playoffs. We clinched the division with seven games remaining. We're the Ducks. All right, so we are in a playoff uh, race now with the Ducks. We're, well, we're not in a race with the Ducks, but if the Ducks miss the playoffs... Uh, so let me see about the Central. The two wildcard teams, the Blues and the Jets, with 88 and 89 points. The Ducks only have 83. The Ducks ain't making the fucking playoffs. We got ourselves a draft lottery pick along with... What? I'm the greatest general manager of all time. I, I just I just am. I am just the greatest. All right, so let us advance. All right, keep an eye on the Anaheim Ducks. All right, we got like one more week here. But the Ducks, I don't even think they have enough games left to catch. I think mathematically they do, but they, they would need to win every game and those guys would need to lose. Two teams would need to lose every game. The Blues are up to 91 points now. I mean, they're out. Oh, they can catch the Canucks though. Shit. You fucking idiot, Vancouver? Damn. I didn't look at that. I didn't look at that. They're in our division, right? The good old Pacific Division, ladies and gentlemen. The good old Pacific Division. So the Canucks and the uh, the Golden Knights. You, come on, you idiots. Catch them. Uh, yeah, there's not the, the, all they have to do is stay ahead of the Canucks and the Golden Knights here. So advanced day. Good luck. Hopefully the Ducks miss. Uh, they got 89 points. The Canucks are only one point behind them. They got 89 points. Ducks have, what, what was that? Ducks have 91 points. They're going to get in. They haven't clinched just yet, though, but I'm pretty sure they're going to get in. 91 points at this point. Let's see. 91, although the Canucks have 90. Canucks are right behind them, but they have a game in hand as well over them. Yeah, I'd say the Ducks are in. I'd say the Ducks are in, ladies and gentlemen. Jump in a game. Uh, oh, right, right, right. Uh, do I want... No, no, I don't want to jump in a game in this video, guys. We're going to save that for the playoffs, all right? I just... Uh, we've gotten to the end of the season. Let's do a whole wrap-up. If I jump into a game, we'll have to take like another 10, 15 minutes. Let's just get to the uh, the season stats, all right? Um, and what about the President's Trophy? Avalanche of 114... Oh, us and the Av... Okay, you know what? I will jump in the last game if it's uh, for the President's Trophy. I'll jump in there. All right, Ducks still haven't clinched just yet. So let's advance up against the Sharks. That's a W. All right, that's good. Let's advance again. We got two more games. Uh, the Avalanche, I have two more games as well. The Ducks are in a wild card spot. The Canucks have passed the Ducks. But the Ducks are in a wild card spot now? What? Wait. You fucking idiot blues. We just start losing every game towards the end of this. They were like 89 points. Oh my god. Well, they haven't clinched just yet. How could they lose? The Golden Knights could catch them? Who could catch them? Hang on. The Coyotes. I guess the Coyotes can catch them. Oh, my God. The Blues... The, I, I, I want to take a look. Watch this. Hang on a second. Watch this. Let's take a look at the Blues' last 10 games. I guarantee you they must have something horrible. 
uh, 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 St. Louis Blues, St. Louis Blues. I'm in the Pacific Division. Hang on, Central. I always get mixed up. I always think I'm in the Central for some reason. St. Louis, last 10 games. 4 6 and 0. Oh. oh, you idiots. Idiots, you idiots, you idiots. You go below 500 when the season's on the line. Ah! Probably even worse than that, too. All right, so, uh, well, we got the President's Trophy on the line. We have 116 points, and the Avalanche have 114. We just need three points, and we got it. Up against the Columbus Blue Jackets, a really shitty squad. That's a W. Stallions are at 118. Avalanche are at 116. If we win, we are in the President's Trophy. What about the Ducks? The Ducks still haven't clinched. They have one game remaining. I don't know what's going on. The Coyotes... The Coyotes could catch them. Yeah, the Coyotes could catch If the Coyotes have one game left, the Coyotes win. They could jump them. Oh, my God. What a craziness. All right, so you know what? We'll jump in for this game, um, and we'll we'll do a season wrap-up as well. All right? Don't worry. I'll go a little bit longer here. Why not? There's a lot of people watching. Oh, you guys have uh, been supporting me, so let's do it. Uh, simulate. All right, up against the Toronto Maple Leafs. So the first time we're watching a real-time sim with our chemistry. What is going to happen? I'm not even going to go... Uh, I'm going to leave it like a playoff game, all right? We're going to see how our team performs at... Pl I like to see it. Pontus Aberg scoring on Valentenko. Who the hell is that for Toronto? Oh, Kubalik on the fourth one. Dude, if plus fives work in the real-time sim like this... Oh, my God. What the fuck? John Tavares scores twice on Henrik Lundqvist. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> the president's trophy's on the line, you fools. What the fuck? Travis Dermott. What? <laughs> oh, my God. Just get taken out, man. All right, second period underway. This is what's going to happen in the playoffs. Oh, Jesus. This is what's going to happen in the playoffs, ladies and gentlemen. All right, president's trophy. I'm going to go. I'm going to get back to Boston style. President's trophy and then shit on. <laughs> Oh, I don't like it. Second period. There we go. We can score goals, though. Remember, our penalty kill is weak, and you can make the argument that our defensive core might be weak. They might be offensively based. But you know what? We can certainly score. What a crazy-ass game this is. Third period underway. I'll jump in with five minutes left if it's a two-goal two game or less. Uh, Jeff Carter <laughs> scores for the Toronto Maple Leafs. When do they pick him up? 14 minutes left. 13 minutes left. Come on now, Seattle. Get us a goal. Let us jump in the game. All right, Presti, baby. Pressburg scoring those big goals. Eight minutes, seven minutes. Power play for Toronto. Power play for Seattle. Let's jump in then. Power play for Seattle. Hell yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time. Let's jump in. So here we are, third period in Thundershock. We're wearing our black and greens. We got our first line out there. Plus fives, five minutes left. We're still in the power play. Oh, we got our first line power play out there. Oh, second line power play because it's Aberg. It's the Swedes. He knows Strozo with the shot. Not going to get through. And Timothy Liljegren for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Here we go. Going to take it out. And look at that, boys. I gave Lundqvist his, his Ranger helmet. He's back. <laughs> he looks goofy, but it, it has to be. Hino Strozo with the shot. And the 55 overall goaltender. Yes, we did some scouting beforehand. That guy, Valentenko for the Leafs, is 55 overall. Makes a solid save. All right. Blay Lafreniere Kane. Sec ah, first line power play. Let's see what these guys got. You need a better face-off, man? Well, that's what the... Th oh, laugh! Oh, laugh! Wow! Wow! Laugh! Three chances! Valentenko almost freaking robbed uh, the soon-to-be best player in the NHL, but he got that third shot right by Alexei Lafreniere's second goal of the night. That was actually a cool-looking goal. Like, from the AI? Anytime you see a goal that looks somewhat realistic and, and you haven't seen it before, gets me, uh, gets me excited. Face-off win, laugh one, two... Three, right along the goal line. And he looks good with that A on his jersey as well. Nice try, buddy. Valentenko, maybe. Maybe this guy's got great potential. Oh, my God. Did he shoot it off the goalie, too? Off the goalie's knob and in the net. And anyway, we, we are all tied up here in the third period in Seattle, baby. Thundershock is on its feet. 4.15 left here in the third period. Who's got the hero? Or who is the hero? Did Laugh just say, did Laugh have 27 goals on the year? What a beast. Laugh out to Aberg. All right, so let's change it up. Uh, they got a goal. Let's go with uh, the Sammy Blay line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sammy Blay, Baptiste, and Sprong. And Baptiste has made a name for himself on this team as well. He got himself a nice little three-year, $9 million contract. And he gets to get plus fives. Sweet. Hey, Yek. He's our alternate on the point. <laughs> Might have to strip him of that A. Hey, Yek. Whoa, Hey, Yek. Here we go, Hey, Yek. Make that pass, buddy. Nice. Sprong. Back to Baptiste. Take that shot, Baptiste. Uh, one-timer all blocked in front by Morgan Riley. Good defensive play by the Leafs right there. Helping out their goalie. 
Here comes Mikheyev. He's going to dump the puck in for Tarana. Hayek picks it up behind the net. He's going to feed his other defenseman. Oh, a little bit uh, a little bit shady on the breakout there, but the, the, the Seattle Stallions do get it out. Oh, in the middle. Sammy Blay, rebound. Wow! Valentenko, he's got a future. He's making 10 bell rebounders, point blank. What the fuck? Great save right there by Valentenko. And ladies and gentlemen, he's 55 overall. And we have a delayed penalty. This Valentenko guy, even though he's allowed six goals, uh, he's, he's making the big ones. What the hell is going on? Trade for him, penalty. Yeah, I know, not looking good. So I think the best thing we could hope for here in the penalty is they score really early, because you know they're going to score, and then we can maybe tie it up again. Oh, Tavares. Oh, God, so many weapons. Riley. Malgin over the net. What was that? Marner. Malgin. Oh, but it's picked up. Yo, get it out, Kane. What are we doing? No. Sit back, you fool. <laughs> oh, Kane. Into the middle. Now, now we're going to get beat. Oh, you fools. Okay, okay, okay. I got to turn down. Oh, aggressive. No, defend lead, you fools. There you go. Here comes the Toronto Maple Leafs. Malgin back to... Oh, Johnny T. Down low to Riley. Couldn't find the opening. Derek Pouliot. Get it out. Why? All right, he's got some... Okay. Why would you come back? You have... What the fuck? You're power forward. You had speed. Drive the outside. Here we go. Inostroza. Back to Zadorov. Inostroza. Oh, man. Sending, sending it to the middle and across crease. It ain't great on the penalty kill, boys. They're coming back. Nylander with the shot off the rush. All right. Marner. Four checking. That ain't a thing. And we're going to get it all the way down the ice. Let's change it up, boys. Change it up. So we killed the first half of the power play. That's a win, I guess. Hino Stroza is still on the ice, so he's going to be dead tired. On the back check, trying to chase down Malgin. Malgin. Oh, in the middle. Good save. Nylander. Big save by Lundqvist. Oh, the Swedes fighting each other. Malgin and another great save by King Henrik. He'll love to see it. One goal away from the hat trick from Alexei Lafreniere. I got to keep that in the back of my mind. Push the first line. Push the first line. I want to see the hats rain here in Thundershock. Face off. Offensive zone. Who is that? Who the fuck? Jankowski, right? The big trade from the Calgary Flames. They also landed Giordano. There he is. Gio and Matthews on the point for the power play. What? Oh, Lungfist with it. He throws that wee maniac. Hey, check. Clears it all the way down the ice. Look at their blue line here on the second line power play. It's Matthews and Gio. Damn. Up to Pierre Engvall. They're splitting up their power plays for sure. Kapanen, Clapper, just misses the net. I stole Janssen from them. Carlo gets it all the way down the ice. Are the Seattle Stallions actually going to kill this off on the lethal Toronto Maple Leaf power play? Man, the Leafs get paid all this money, and they don't score in big games. Oh, good old Leafs. Same as always. Baptiste with the steal. Shorty, go. Go, Pressburg. He cuts ball. I like it. I like it. Oh, Pressburg tries to leap. Oh, another rebound in front. Man, this goalie's making good saves. Pressburg turning, burning, waiting. Back to the point to Carlo. Carlo in the middle. Uh-oh, that ain't good. That ain't good. Pierre Engvall's got some wheels. Put up good back check by Carlo. You'll love to see it. Uh, in the middle. Yes, Pressburg couldn't get that release off. And uh, that's going to be an... Oh, man. Who was it? Presti? Pressburg! You're Swedish. You're supposed to be friggin' d d disciplined. Oh, that ain't good. Hey, he's he's hacking and slashing. How tall is Pressburg? He's a solid 6'3". Solid 6'3". Shoes off 6'3". He's like 6'4", six, 6'5", six, six, with skates on. Oh, this is going to be rough. Tavares. Clap bomb. Hits Martyr in front. <laughs> it's game, dude. <sighs> The puck goes all the way down the ice. Picked up by John Tavares. Johnny T, baby. Up to William Nylander. Nylander, across the line. Back to Johnny T. He's going to find Morgan. Morgan's going to find Willie. Going to find Malgin. Malgin, the short side shot. Doesn't beat Henrik Lundqvist. Lee's playing good uh, uh, puck possession. Oh, Nylander with the one-timer. A better save, though, by Henrik. Change it up. Change it up. Both my power plays are dead tired right now. <laughs> They've been out there for like the last five minutes. Uh-oh. Malgin to Nylander. Nylander with the shot. Another great save by King Henrik. We can trust in Henrik Lundqvist, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to need that in the playoffs. I know his stats look worse than Thatcher Demko, but still. Last chance for Toronto. 16 seconds off the rush. Nylander, but stripped by Derek Pouliot. And what a resurgence here from Pouliot, playing much better than his overall states. He's got a home here. He's got a home as the uh, sixth or seventh defenseman. Nylander, wait, one more chance? Nylander loses it again. He, garbage, Nylander, garbage. Twice off the rush. Gets stripped once by Pouliot, next by Zadorov. Garbage. Garbage, 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 garbage. 
All right, so uh, overtime, and this is going to be really rough. Full run three. Uh, Laffy Taffy. Well, I didn't want Laffy killing the penalty, but uh, I guess we have the three-man penalty kill as Laff is our, as our center. Oh, no. All right, Marner. The Leafs have Riley, Tavares, Maligan, and Marner out there. Matthews is pissed. He must be. He's not even getting first-line power play time. What the fuck? Keith, what are you doing? Pres oh, yeah, we got the Presidents. Right, we got the point. I completely forgot about that. We got the Presidents. The Seattle Stallions are the best team in the NHL in year number three, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I do as the general manager. Marner, Rashad Lundqvist with the save. We won the Presidents, right? All we needed was three points. We won the first game, and we just uh, we just got a point in this game. Nice. And hey, Vander Kane's third in the league for body checks. Nice. What the hell? He's throwing the body this year. Baptiste is my one defense. <sighs> Good luck. Face off one by uh, to, uh, oh. Riley with the slap shot from the point. Blocked in front, I believe. Yes! And it's going to get all the way down the ice. Uh, they might get one more rush. Because there's not a lot of guys in the blue line. If they can make something happen off the rush. Oh, we're in trouble. Ten seconds left. They're going to get into the zone. They're going to get a shot. Marner finds Johnny T. Back to... No, why? Why? He was coming out of the... Oh, no, he wasn't. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Get it down the ice. I thought there was a lot less time. Good job, boys. Good job, good job. I'll worry about line changing lines later. No, 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 no. Get back, get back. I didn't change anything. I just pressed B once. Marner, the toe drag, the rip. Oh, and a good save by Lundqvist. All right, uh, first forward line. Let's go. And I got nothing but offensive defensemen here on the uh, on the overtime frame. So it's Kane and Laugh. And uh, who is that out there? Bean? Beanie? Riley? The Tavares? Marner! The floaty backhand actually worked. Fuck! What it doesn't matter. We won the President's Trophy, ladies and gentlemen. No hat trick for Laffy Taffy. But we did end up uh, getting that President's Trophy. Oh, these shots are so annoying to watch go in. These floaty backhands. How do we know it was going to be a backhand? First is Tavares passing it on his backhand to a guy, Marner, who's going to shoot it on his backhand. <laughs> it's so bad looking, man. Well, the 55 overall goaltender outplayed Henrik Lundqvist. Ah! <laughs> so bad, man. So bad. He should try the floaty backhand in real life. Yeah, maybe it would have gone in. We would have actually not get shut out twice against the Columbus Blue Jackets. All right, so that is the end of the regular season. And there it is. Your Seattle Stallions by year three. An expansion team. Year three are the best team in the NHL. Well, during the regular season. And the defending Stanley Cup champions are the second best team in the NHL. Yikes. 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 So, let us take a look. Well, you know what? First, I'll save it. Let's save it first. Let's save it first. That's a good That's a good season. Let's save that shit. All right. Save. Create a new file. Game save. Perfect. All right, so let's see who did what on our team, the player stats. All right, I think we had a lot of good production from our top nine this year, I'd say. They're all probably going to be getting points. So Sammy Blay, 93 points in 82 games played. Expect him to get a good jump from a season like that. Evander, point per game, 30 goal score. Daniel Sprong, 60 points, 30 goal score. Alexei Lafreniere, only one, pl a plus one, interesting. You think uh, Lafreniere on the center position is hurting him? Might be. Or... Is Pontus Aberg just not taking enough shots? Don't know. Very interesting. What about power play points? Power play points. He's up there with everyone. He's got the most power play goals. Tied with uh, Aberg. Yeah, it's just a team effort. I think he's going to get better. We, we could we, Maybe it was Aberg not being quite there just yet. Where... Where Sammy Blay had Sprong. Well, I mean, Sammy, you know what? Sammy Blay, I just got to give him credit. Uh, he just took over. Sanders probably dragging him down. Also, he was going up on the first line, getting the hardest assignment. Semi Blay got the second, uh, but his shooting at, like his shooting percentage was good too, and he took some shots. I'm, you know, what? I'm happy with it. Uh, Baptiste with a 56 uh, point season, that's really good. So this is what I mean. I got Aberg a 79 and Baptiste a 78, 79, both to have almost 60 point seasons. Really good. Janssen 54, Hino Stroza, uh, Pressburg a 30 goal year on the third line, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Kubalik. Uh, 26 points, Cousins, uh, Van Ryan, 26 points, nice, uh, defenseman, let's see this, Gerard, 40, Bean, now these guys came from the trade, so you can't really worry about that, so let's go into Gerard and see what he did for Seattle, all right, so 55 games played, 33 points, yeah, yep, 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 very, very good, Bean, 
58 games played, 36 points. Yep, yep. We can certainly get goals. Uh, we just need to improve our penalty kill. And when it comes to which goalie, which, I mean, Demko had a pretty good end to the year, boys. I say we start with Lundqvist because of the poise potential. All right, yeah, but the, the poise rating is at 90 overall. So I say we go with Lundqvist game number one. We see what he can do for us, all right? But then we can change it up. Demko had a pretty good year. But Hank, we signed him for the playoff run. It's his final year to try to get it done. He gets game one. He was the he, he got us off. He slowed down a little bit towards the end of the year, but I'm I'm going with I've already made the decision in my mind. I am going with Lundqvist, all right? Uh to give you guys an update on the entire league. Uh best goalie, I'll just sort by save percentage, not wins. Uh let's try to find somebody with like like Demko. Demko with like 38 games played. Uh Holtby. Uh, ben Bishop, 60 games played, a 917 save percentage. Demko had a good year, though. We should look at that as a, a solid year for Demko. That was pretty good. Uh, forwards, let's see. Uh, points, John Tavares, McDavid, <laughs> McDavid on, a, on a losing team, not making the playoffs still. Sammy Blay. Sammy Blay is in the top 10 for points in the NHL. Let's go, Sammy. So that was a big trade from the St. Louis Blues to land Sammy Blay there. Or did, we, or did we get him in free agency or did we trade for him? I can't remember if we traded for him or got him in free agency. But that, that was huge. I think we traded for him because he was an RFA. That's huge. And then defenseman, uh, uh, Petrangelo and Hughes. Damn, dude. That's such a good combo. Petrangelo has still got his exact elite. Yeah, Petrangelo and Hughes are filth. Absolute filth together. All right, so there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We have come to the end of uh, year number three, and it is a very successful year. And uh, the Anaheim Ducks have made the playoffs. The Ducks made the playoffs, so I do not have a lottery pick in the upcoming NHL entry draft. Uh, and just to show you guys, uh, rookie points. Okay, I'll go to rookie points after this. Yeah, I'll go to that. Franchise defensive defenseman. Son of a... Shoot, pinch! Him and Malkin! It would have been, oh, that's all right. I can't worry about that. You can't have every first overall pick. That is the franchise defenseman. Oh, it would have been so good. You got to trade for him? Nah, he's a franchise. What play, what team would want to give up a franchise? Damn, that would have been so good to link alongside of Malkin. It would have been epic. That's okay. That's okay. Could you imagine if we got that draft pick from the lottery from the Ducks and we won it? Oh, but you know what? Whatever. Our team is built. Our team is slick. It is. It is looking awesome. I have nothing to complain about. Plus fives everywhere. All right. Plus fives everywhere. We're healthy going into the playoffs. And these guys are going to grow. These guys are going to grow because of that. So last but not least, uh, the fans in the Twitch chat were saying to look at rookie scoring. Uh, Pressburg, right? Yeah. Let's take a look at rookie scoring. Hang on. Trade for him. Give up Pressburg for him? Shut the hell up. Uh, he's a franchise guy. He, guys, he, he'd be somebody that the league is talking about. Like, he's the he, he's the unanimous first overall pick. Uh, shit, what am I looking at? You guys keep getting me sidetracked. Rookie skaters. Uh, entire league. All right. Evgeny Svechnikov at 25 years of age. Fuck that. Oh, I got... No, no, no. Come on. 68 games played, 47 points. And I'm 19 compared to a 25-year-old. If Evgeny Svechnikov wins the Calder and I don't, I'm going to be so damn pissed. Come on. And Jake Bean, too. Jake Bean. So we had the best uh, rookie defenseman and the best rookie forward. I don't get the hell out of here, Svechnikov. If we lose it this year, then we lost the Calder two years in a row from bullshit. Last should have won it last year, but he was injured. And Pressburg should have won it this year, but he was injured. And Svech is 25. That doesn't count. All right. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to end it right... Well, actually, hang on, hang on, hang on. Advanced day. We're going to end it right... Right... Here, baby. Oh, Petrangelo and Hughes in round number one. It's the Vancouver Canucks, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! All right, so let me know what you guys think. Um, any strategies? Uh, I will read them all, but I'm pretty sure we're just on autopilot right now with the plus fives everywhere. We just got to hope for a good simulation. Uh, JT Miller. Ugh. Ew. Whoa. Uh, looks a little bit weak after that. They got four good forwards, and then... That's their team right there. Uh, two of the top... Five best defensemen in the NHL, and then a really good goalie and a good backup. So they're just going to keep the puck out of the net and score with Pedersen when he has the chance. Two two-way forward centers in Pedersen and Horvat. Very interesting. So let me know what you guys think, and I will see you when we do the playoffs. You're going to want to watch it live with us on Twitch. The playoffs are always great when we go into the games. And uh, 
we're going to do the entire playoff run in one live stream. So make sure you don't, you guys don't miss it. 2BC Superb on Twitch. Thanks for showing up, guys. And I will see you all next time. Hey, guys. Johnny here, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like, hit that subscribe button, and make sure notifications are on so you don't miss out on any new content. We also live stream on Twitch where I take days off my life for your entertainment. Sonny Gray, get out of it. You stupid pieces of s***. I should have gone with Jose for Fernandez. Oh my god, pitching change. Fernandez, get your ass in there. Oh, I swear to god, baseball god just decided to s all over me. Grand slam. Oh yeah. Make me miss the playoffs with a first ranked team. Year two, 30 games above 500. No divisional win. Trip to the wild card. First inning.